Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the keyboard first-person navigation in DAS Studio 4.7. This was a new addition in DAS Studio 4.7, it was not available in DAS Studio 4.6, but it is available in DAS Studio 4.8 and obviously in later versions as well. The traditional navigation was always with these little viewport controls here, so either the cube that you could move your scene with and that of course still works all these little icons here strafe left and right or rotate or zoom or there were always the keyboard shortcuts like uh, alt and command on the mac and then drag in the scene to do that but uh, it was always for me at least a little bit cumbersome to position the camera in in complex scenes that weren't that weren't always easy to see uh, due to walls so it was for me it was always difficult to position the camera and I was very happy to see that DAS have implemented this um, keyboard navigation so uh, have a look at the at your keyboard on the left hand side the keys A S and D are perfect for your ring finger, middle finger and index finger of the left hand. If you're not familiar playing uh, first person video games, this is something, it's a navigation style that is the favorite in first person shooters. Um, so the A key moves you to the left, the D key moves you to the right. Don't worry about the speed at which this happens here. Uh, we'll, I'll show you how to adjust that. And also it depends on the complexity of your scene and on the speed of your computer. So A and D move you left and right, and W and S, which is easily reachable with your middle finger, move you forward and backwards. And the last thing we have is the Q and the E options, which you can probably either reach with your middle finger or with your ring finger and index finger. The Q moves you up and E moves you down. If you try this out, it's actually fairly easy and you soon get the hang of it. But the one thing that currently isn't happening is looking around. So what happens if I want to turn my camera to the right now? Do I still have to use this thing? Uh, no, not really. That would be very cumbersome to do that. There is another control that we can utilize the mouse for. So the mouse is going to be looking around and your fingers are going to be moving you around in the scene. Uh, but in the default layout here, which is Hollywood Boulevard, this workspace, this control is not available. There is a keyboard shortcut, which is, I believe, uh, Shift Option F or Shift Command F, something I can never remember, and it would be much easier to have an icon here. Now, other workspaces have that. Uh, look here, if I go to Window, Workspace, and select Layout, if I go to the City Limits layout, then I can see my workspace has totally changed and I have additional icons here. And one of them, namely this one, is the scene navigator tool. And if I'd use that, then I can drag my mouse anywhere in the viewport and I can look around. And that combined with keyboard navigation means I can literally walk through my scene. It's not such an exciting scene right now. Let me load a different one here so that we can uh, perhaps walk around a, a proper set but as I said, this would require you to change the layout and not everyone's comfortable with the city limits layout. So let's head back over and select the Hollywood Boulevard layout again. That's the default in DAS Studio. And there we go. Uh, no mouse dragging is possible. I can only select items here. So again, head over to Window, Workspace and Customize. And we're going to make that icon available. Uh, over here we have these four little triangles, actors, pose, lights and render. Those correspond to these four tabs on the top here. Those are the, the activity tabs or the activity bar. Open the first one and then open toolbars and then you'll see a few options here. The first one, create and basic viewport tools are already on and those correspond to these two groups of icons here. This is the first one and that's the second one. And we're going to enable a third one which is tools down here. So click on it once and then right click and select enable toolbar. And if you hit apply then you'll see you've got lots more icons here. 
And you'll also see that some of these icons are actually contained in the larger group of icons. So you've got these twice. That's not quite necessary. So let's uh, head over to the basic viewport tools and switch those off. Disable toolbar, hit apply. And then you've got more icons and many of them are very useful. If you hit accept, your changes are kind of safe, but as soon as you select another workspace and come back to this Hollywood Boulevard, those icons will be gone. So if you want those changes to be permanent, save your layout as something that you can remember. All right, so uh, to navigate this scene, to look around with our mouse, click this icon. It's the scene navigator tool. And now looking around works even in Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, let's head over and load a scene. Uh, I'm going to select a stonemason set here. How about Tin Pan Alley with added geometry? Close that down. Uh, standard navigation still works, but there's one thing I wanted to make you aware of. If you hover your mouse over any of these icons, they stand out in orange, and that is because the node selection highlights the surface by default. And that's something that's not really that's not really helping us here when we navigate through the scene. It's just more annoying and you know burns your retinas out, so you don't really want that. To change that, it's fairly easy to do. You need to use the Tool Settings tab. Just in case you haven't got that, if you, if you can't see that, head over to Windows, Panes, and on the bottom you will find the Tool Settings. So just um, select that and then you'll have either a floating palette which you can dock or you can make your changes and close the palette again. So in the tool settings, at the very top, you have the active tool selection and uh, pick node selection. And in it, you can see the first option that comes up here is draw style, the bounding box and surface. And if you change that either to bounding box only or if you change the opacity of how much this orange burns your retinas, you'll see it's now gone. So that's bounding box only. You can still see a faint orange selection around each object here, but you no longer see this glowing orange highlight. So that's quite cool. I'm going to leave mine there, close this, and let's navigate this scene. So again, W to move forward, uh, select your scene, uh, navigator tool very important otherwise the mouse isn't gonna work here and you can use these in combination so keep holding W and it moves you forward uh, while holding the left mouse key clicked and now you just move the mouse around so to look around in your scene and you can go up as well like flying almost like starting a little airplane here in Grand Theft Auto I don't have a light set loaded here, so I'm using headlamp mode, which is why this uh, part of the building now is more illuminated as, as I look at it, because I have this imaginary light bulb on top of my camera. But it's, it helps for even illumination. And you can also move backwards with the S key, or forward with the W key, and A to move left, D to move right. And if I needed to go a little bit higher, I can either point my camera up and move, or if I just wanted to move my tripod up, it's the Q key or the E key to go down. If this is happening a bit too fast or too slow for your liking, know that you can change the speed at which, you, at which the camera moves around. It, it gets, gets a bit slower the more complex the scene becomes, and a bit faster the less complex the scene becomes. Uh, you do that under Tool Settings, and again on the top here you select the Scene Navigator tool. Well, these icons here, they are basically what you do with the, with the keyboard. So Move Controls, this one is Move Forward. You could just hold this down or hold this down, and that will move you. And you would have probably guessed that this little numeric value is how fast you're moving through the scene. So uh, Type in another value if this was too slow for you to try 50. And know that when you press return, the cursor doesn't actually get out of the text field. So make sure you just click outside somewhere so that the cursor disappears. Otherwise, Dastory just doesn't take that value. 
and now I can move much faster through my scene. And likewise, the looking around, if this is too sensitive or if this is not sensitive enough for you, just change that value to something uh, slower, maybe five. Same thing with the cursor, just make sure you select something outside the cursor field here or in the scene. And now you have to move your mouse, well, more in order to cover the same amount in the scene. Great, that's it. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to share this video with friends, family and total strangers. Bye for now. I will see you next time.